I was visiting my constituency that was in Kota Tinggi, visiting the villages. Then um, I received message to say that there was an accident taking place, uh, Highland Towers collapsed. That was all I heard about it. And uh, almost immediately, just rushed back. Those days, was drove drove back all the way. <coughs> As I was driving, could not get the full full story. I was just I kept on wondering what was happening. But I was with my son, one of my sons in laws at that time, and a bodyguard. We were there together, but uh, just wondering what it was. But uh, somehow or other. There was that gut feeling that something seriously was happening. So that's it. And drove all the way back and uh, saw this rubble that had uh, what evident that was before me. That was it. And of course, my first question was, where's my son? As a family, there was nobody could say that he was alive, nobody, they all said that they're searching for him. So the mind was uh, wandering, looking at the worst case scenario and worrying a lot about it. Yeah? Um, well, I mean, you can imagine that I never had such experience in my life, so I could not visualize really what was coming. So when I arrived, when I saw this, of course, <coughs> excuse me, I saw this, only I realized how serious it was. But the good news is that uh, uh, my granddaughter was saved somehow or other. Then I got to learn about it. It seems that just as the building was collapsing, the mother, my daughter-in-law, sort of passed her on to the maid and asked the maid to run first. Run, run, run. As the maid ran, the building collapsed. That was a story I learned a bit later after that. So that's how my granddaughter was saved. When they discovered um, the, the bodies, what, what was your reaction? Did you? How did uh, you feel? I, I cannot tell you. Uh, the best, the the, the 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 thing that I remembered was that my ex secretary Tengku Mastura just firmly told me, "You don't. I don't want you to see. You don't. Don't see the body." You know, uh, he, 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 she just said no, and she told my wife, and they all pack at anything. You know, no, I should not see see the body. It seems it was it was bad. I don't have to talk more about this. Yeah. yeah. Carlos, uh, what kind of a person was he? Like, do you do you remember? Uh, I you know. I cannot talk too much about it because I'll be crying. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, uh, it's it's difficult <clears throat> to describe. They're all lovely, you know. You want to talk about children, very lovely. But again, my regret is that I never seem to have been able to communicate. Not their fault, but my fault. Is the pa parents have to do it. But he he was just fantastic, but neglected by me. I did not pay too much attention to him. My regrets on the upbringing of my three children are so big, so so enormous in the sense that I did not give them enough time. I did not have quality time with them because I was too, too, too deep in politics. So I, was, I never was conscious of the need to pay attention to children. I used to send them to school, fetch them to school. The communication gap between us as they grow up was very, very wide. It was me rather than them. While I'm in the car, <laughs> taking the child, I'm already thinking of this and that and the other. That's, that's one of the things that I, I, I regret very much. I think uh, now, because the son has died, now I got my son, my granddaughter. I've got two other granddaughters, three of them together. I tried to make extra time. The only thing I thank God is that I'm given a second chance. So I have spent a lot of time with them. Well, after the accident, it was quite simple. Uh, we all sat together, we mean my wife and I, and uh, my ex-wife, where is she? I can't remember. 
and my daughter uh, Maria Arozana. She was uh, married, uh, and uh, we talked. My wife and I considered maybe the best was for the, for her to 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 be with us. And uh, my wife my wife was very keen. <coughs> But as it turned out, Rosanna, my elder, youngest daughter, uh, they were just married at that time, and uh, she wanted uh, to take the baby under her care. Was it difficult for your youngest daughter to care for care for um, your granddaughter? No, I, d I don't think it was difficult. I think the the, the mentality or psychology of it was simply that. Uh, she lost her parents and somebody had to replace the parents and she took it on in her hands uh, upon herself to give education to 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 just to bring her up uh, like one of the children as as uh, god uh, uh, has it uh, she had she bore two children after that when, when you decided to tell uh, Marisa about the incident, um, did you all have a discussion? Like, did you know when no, you were no, going to... No, it's not like that. <clears throat> we, as I said, we took it in our stride. We did not conspire to say, no, you say this, you say that. No, no. Uh, we just, <clears throat> just slowly, some, I, I, I can't even remember, which shows you that there was no plan. There was no plan. Just in our stride, as we mentioned, you know, your father was the one who died at the tragedy. She listened. She would listen. Then when, I uh, can't remember, maybe three or four years ago, I started really taking the trouble, you know, this is what happened, you know, as I related to you, this is what happened. And she, she absorbs this. And when we go to the first few times when we went to the cemetery, for example, she did not know, she thought, well, uh, her uncle, her, not her father, maybe her uncle or somebody, we did not explain very much. Then as time went on, we said, this is your father and your mother. Now she knows every time. When she comes back, I take her to the mosque by herself, I take with her, for her to be reminded of that. that, that that's, that's as far as we go in terms of introducing her to the tragedy. For you and uh, for your ex-wife and for your daughters, uh, was it difficult to move on from, from that tragedy? Like, um... Well, for me, it's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, I always face tragedy and difficulties or anything in a very positive manner. Uh, uh, the good thing about religion Islam that I practice. I'm not. I never consider myself a very, very religious man, or you know, I consider myself ordinary Malay who practices. But uh, uh, the bigger the tragedy, I regard it the better. The 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 hikmah in Malay Arabic, hikmah, hikmah, God's gift to you. So I think very positive. Uh, during the course of the tragedy, when <coughs> people were. Uh, looking out for his body and body of the others, it took how many days, a week or so? It took, I was there all the time saying my prayers. I did not say a word. I did not comment any bis any press. People wanted to ask me, I was, I did not refuse. I just would not want to talk about it because the positive thing I think was quite simple. I said, that's, it has already happened. Yeah, and it is, God has sent me a message. The hikmah part of it is positive that I must learn and to accept tragedy. As you sit down, you face life, happy or not happy, is a is, is an experience you learn uh, doing this. Uh, uh, you never stop learning every day. They're, they're just two days, three days ago, after a meeting, I said, "My goodness me! I thought I knew everything. I still have got to know." So, whether death or birth. Happiness or sadness is part of life. You must know how to take in your stride. So I'm not raving into it. I must confess to you, though, that when the tragedy happened, one of the things I knew for certain that deep inside me was my anger was not on anything. I said, no, this is the result of wishy-washy work. Uh, people were not responsible. So to me, 
uh, there must be some element of corruption or neglect or something. But that's as far as I held on to it. <coughs> I knew it was. I knew it was. I knew how all these things were. But as I said, uh, in so far as she's concerned, I did not want to, to, to prolong it. So that's, that's where I stood.